You remember how I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to put this up. I'm going to hold it straight up. I push it straight up in there and then this thing swivels. Okay, here's my little nibs that get screwed on there and then before I tap it tight, I'll slide this I'll slide this into position where it needs to be because see that outlet is going to be needing to be facing exactly straight across that way because it needs to be straight across uh, from the other sink because I've got to hook the garbage disposal piping underneath and it will tie into the other one under there. That's why I've got to have this lined up and, and I'll be able to do it once I put it up there it doesn't matter how I installed that, how I have the screws on the back side, how I have the nibs on the back side because this see will slide on there so I can I can I can put this exactly I can swivel this exactly where I want it on there and then I've got to line that up hold my mouth just right and get those on that's the tricky part to do under there okay hold your breath and you'll be able to do it muscle it and I've got my lumbar support on I've got my my knee pads, my little knee pads down there, and instantly I've got two layers of that heavy, thick cardboard. I could have put craft paper there. I would have put craft paper here if I didn't have this other stuff down. I put this heavy stuff down. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I ended up having to rip out the old counters and all that. That was a big mess. I put a plastic um, wall around this whole thing. You should have seen that. Hopefully you did because it's on some previous episodes of these. I left this heavy cardboard stuff down because in a couple weeks they're going to come with the new refrigerator, the new stove, the microwave, uh, washer and dryer. And I don't want them to, to uh, scratch the new uh, laminate flooring, uh, the vinyl flooring that we had installed. And so I'm going to leave this stuff down. As for, as for where the refrigerator is, I'll cut the... Uh, cardboard stuff out a little bit further so when they push the new refrigerator in um, it's all on the floor and then see I even have the cardboard stuck out in here because it was protecting that floor and stuff after they install after they take this old uh, microwave down and after they install the new microwave uh, before they leave then they're going to slide the the uh, the range in here okay that's when I'll cut the, uh, the uh, cardboard out far enough. That way they can slide the range over here without scratching up the floor and all that good stuff. And then they can push it on the new flooring and stuff. And I've got some little uh, mover things, you know, those little round things with the plastic on the bottom. You get the kind with, with a carpet cover. It's a little cap and you can put that on there. That's that's for protecting if you have hardwood floors, if you have laminate floors, if you have floors uh, like this, vinyl, planking, and it will protect your floor as you're sliding things in and out. So I'll probably end up using that too. But be all set for your project because, you know, after you get that done, it's all about hooking up all the plumbing, piping and stuff, and that uh, extension where the drain line is, I'm going to have to cut that off and put a little uh, elbow on it. And, and I uh, remembered that and I got, I got some parts. See this little elbow? That's a 22 and a half. And then I, I also got a 45. That's a 45. And this is a 22. Okay. I think I'm going to end up using that one. Here's a male adapter with the threads. And then I also got a coupling. And then I also got two foot of pipe. And I'll talk to you about that stuff later. But see, um, since I have to cut that off, I'm going to have to use some ABS glue to put it back on. And when you get that stuff on the floor, forget about it. You're not cleaning it off. At least not with anything I have. See, here's medium black ABS glue. I got just a little can because I only need a couple twizzles around that. But that's why I've got the stuff on the floor and I'll probably put some masking tape on the on the wall 
to where the cabinet the cabinet area is so I'm, I'm really careful there I've got some sandpaper just to, to clean off all that white stuff on that pipe see see all that white stuff I'm gonna sand all that stuff off then I have to cut that come out at an angle and all that kind of stuff that'll be a different video series okay but for now my first and foremost goal is to slip that up there and get it situated get it lined up exactly how I want it before I twist that down and call it good Ooh wee I got that finally and the trick is you have to keep you have to keep it pushed up all the way but then uh, where this thing slides on there's a little bit of a gap there so not only do you have to lift this up then you have to lift this up higher nice and even all the way around before you twist it on there and I found I, I just took my screwdriver and I put it in between uh, the garbage disposal and that rim as a shim and pushed it up and I lifted it back up there and it twisted right on so see I don't have it twisted on all the way you can see I can still take it, take it with my hammer and tap it further uh, to the right righty tighty lefty loosey but before I do that so I can take this I can take this whole thing let's see if I can't show you here see this whole thing I can still twist it do you see what I'm saying so now I can I can line that perfectly up and it's hard to line that up perfect uh, without having everything together okay so I'm not sure I was even going to get in to the cabinet and try to line it up but I still might be slightly off so I thought you know before before I take my hammer oh, in fact let's just let's just take my hammer oh. See right here, I'm just going to kind of twist that on there a little bit. And you don't have to hit all three of them, you know. You can hit one or if you can get to another one with a beat up screwdriver and set it there and tap on it. I'm not going to get it any tighter than that for right now until I know this is perfectly straight across. And once I get this connected, the pipe connected on here and the T on there and if I think okay I gotta twist that a little bit to towards me or away from me I can do that before I tighten this up all the way okay and you know what I think I can tighten that up I think I can tighten that up now and this thing will still twist like that even with this thing tight I'm pretty sure that will that will work Okay, you can see with, this, with it being tight, I can still move it around, line that up, and, and once I get this connected, I'll reach up in here, and with this being connected, uh, I'll, I'll tap on that a little bit more, take my screwdriver, you know, back in here, and, and kind of hit on that a little bit more. That's my beat up screwdriver, so I can do that. You see? And uh, this will still twist to a certain extent for right now. And then once I get all that hooked up, then I'll drive these home. You know, make them just a little bit more snug. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay? And, you know, I think we could test this garbage disposal. What do you think? We can test it next. See, here, here's what I was talking about. This is the old garbage disposal. You not only have to lift this up with your hand, then this, see how it's got slop here? This has to be lifted up and twisted on, and it has to be lifted up straight and twisted while you're lifting this up. While you're lifting that up, then you gotta reach in here and see when you try to lift just one side up, the back side, stays down so as you try to twist it on you get the top you get one and the back still swiveling off and, and that's what was happening to me so I thought how can I fix that so I just took my screwdriver 
and I lifted this up, see? And I just, I just set it like that. And then, I, and then I, lifted, I lifted everything up in place and that helped lift this side up. And um, then I got this over here, I lifted that up like that, twisted and it twisted right on, so sweet. <laughs> All because this was not lifting up straight. And let me tell you, it's really difficult to do that to, and to line these up and to lift this up straight and not cattywampus and stuff. And you get tired and, and it's awkward down there. And, uh, you know, you just work with it a little bit. You'll be able to do it and get that twisted on nice and straight. Okay, there, that's how I did that. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos. And what am I going to speak to you about next time and show you? Well, it has to do with this whole drain assembly. This whole drain assembly, like this one here, okay? Like that. We've got to, we've got to configure something basically similar to that in order to hook up to the um, garbage disposal and my sink basket strainer okay that's for next time